How's it going everyone? Today I want to make this video uh, to talk about passion and purpose and following your dreams. Now you see the thing is is I'm here at work. I don't have a saxophone in my hand. I have brought my saxophone um, here before so I can practice if I ever get a chance to. You know a lot of us work eight hours a day uh, normally eight hours a day for uh, 40 hours a week a lot of people work maybe 10 hours a day but I want to talk about some something interesting when you talk about artistry uh, for example can you tell me right now name one of your favorite musicians or singers or artists painters anything some of you might say, uh, for musicians, maybe you would say one of your favorite could be Michael Jackson. One of uh, your favorite painters can be Picasso. It can be Van Gogh. Um, there's many forms of artists. Um, there's many forms of talent. And those things, and you might even say to yourself, I have no kind of artistical abilities. I don't have anything special. I'm just a regular person. Um, and you might even feel like I just appreciate other artists, art, music, and things. You know, think about what it took those famous people, those big names that you hear and see. Um, what it took them to get there. A lot of you have a good idea of, yeah, it took a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, sacrifice, and those kind of things. But you see, every day people are going to work and they're very serious about it. Um, if, uh, if some people have careers, very serious careers, doctors, lawyers, um, many things like that, or it, just your regular job. For example, some of you may work online. And you have to do things correctly because you don't want to get fired. <laughs> and you don't want to lose your job. Some of you may even um, be in different countries. And let's say you you the only job you can do is uh, cer certain jobs. Because if you're in a different country, you may not know. Or you may know that you can't. Uh, the laws say in a lot of countries, you cannot work there. You're only a tourist. Uh, you're on a tourist visa, um, and if you do work, you have to have a special work permit, and it has to be a special job that, for some reason, you're just qualified for, that they need you to work in that country. And my point is, is that those are sacrifices, and they're very serious. This might not be your passion, may not be what you want to do, but you do it because you have to do it. And that's the difference between doing something that you want to do that you love. There's a saying that says, if you do something that you love every day, you never work a day in your life. And that thing that you're doing may pay you back richly. I want to take, for example, um, a famous person you may know. Two famous people, actually. The first one is Michael Jackson. I don't know if you ever looked up his history, but there's a famous dance that he does called the Moonwalk. And this was developed during a time that uh, probably the idea of the actual Moonwalk and the presentation of it around the world, around the globe as a thing didn't exist until this person, Michael Jackson, had developed it. And he says that it takes 10,000 hours. Have you ever did anything for 10,000 hours? Let's think about that. Most people, let's say you work 50 hours a week. At the end of that month, you've only worked 200 hours. 200 hours. Can you imagine practicing Let's say you love to eat, let's say you love to 
mm, you love ice cream and you want to make the best ice cream and you put in 200 hours studying, going across the world or going across the city, states, whatever, learning and trying to taste and just working hard to find out what is the best ice cream and what does it take to make that? And you actually have to find someone who actually is willing to teach you. I know it's kind of a kind of funny uh, use using ice cream, but it's 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 it, that might be someone's passion. So you have to understand their passion. They might have some weird kind of thing about something. So you see, and they want to become the best, and they want for others to enjoy the best. So. In order for them to do that, they took a lot of their time, a lot of their resources. It takes money to travel. It takes, uh, you know, money to buy those ingredients. Time is money. And they put a lot of effort into those things because they're passionate about it. They have a passion, but they had to stick through it and not be distracted by something else, something even called life. They were dedicated and so they created this product um, and this product that is consumed by consumers and they love it. They love it. And then this, they brand that, that name and that name starts to spread locally and then nationally and then internationally across the world it starts to get attention of the media, those kind of things. But this took a lot of time, a lot of effort. A lot of resources, a lot of sacrifices. But for someone to go through those kind of things, first began with their passion, their strong desire, determination to be the best and to win. So when it comes to sole music, when it comes to listening to the, when you hear me playing the saxophone, when you hear me try, you have to begin somewhere, but that could take 10,000 hours. Take, for example, Eminem also goes by. There's quite a few artists that realize it takes you to practice something at least 10,000 hours to master it. Think about it. I have less than a year learning about saxophone. I learned so much, so much. It's unbelievable. I, it's really unbelievable. But until you do it, you don't know, but people love the product, love to listen to it. Some people have said to me, hey, I'm going to give you a song. Can you play that song for me? Can you practice that? And they're really expecting for that song to show up beautifully played, maybe even record it, which takes resource, time, and sacrifice to give that product to them maybe the next day or the next week. Maybe some reasonably might feel <clears throat> it should take a month to actually produce that to where they love it and it's a great product. But you see, all of that also takes investment. These take many things to produce, things that you love, your favorite songs. It took lots of people behind the scenes, <clears throat> even the artists, to produce something that becomes a product, that becomes a brand that you love, that even becomes uh, loved in your family, loved in your country, loved in your city. This takes a lot. So when you invest in certain artists, you invest in their music, you listen to it, and you learn to appreciate it, you don't learn to appreciate it or want to have that desire to invest in them until you know what it took, what's in that mix, what's in that box. So I, um, this is why I'm making this video. So you guys realize that when you're here on this page, Soleil Music is filled with passion. It's filled with dedication. It's filled with sacrifice. It's filled with resources. It's filled with investments. When you see that saxophone in those pictures and videos and you're listening to that music, I want you to remember 
So Lasax, that brand that I'm creating is taking lots of time and hard work and it's you. You make it come alive. So by you guys ever taking the decision to, uh, you know, invest or even make donations, you see on my page, uh, the cash app soon coming Venmo and those kind of things. And you make donations and you invest, you're investing in something wonderful and great. And not only in Soleil or Soleil, Soleil music or anything like that, but you're building something that is full circle. It comes back to you guys. It goes to me and it goes out. So it makes your day. It gives you those blessings to be able to listen to songs and the music and that you love. And, you know, and, and when you, example, I want you to stop right now and tell me, go ahead and tell me what, who was one of your favorite artists or songs? Now, when you listen to them every time, you're investing in them. And they, uh, they, maybe they don't see it. They're somewhere in a world. I don't know what they're doing, living their life, giving shows, making more music, but you're still invested in them into that passion that they put in. So I really just want to thank all of you guys for coming even to my page soon. TikTok, Instagram, I'm working on all of that. Believe me, I'm putting in the hard work and time, but you guys make this come alive. It's you guys. You guys are the special, special persons, special people. So I just want to say thank you. And we have uh, more, as I said, more great, wonderful things coming along. As you see, I'm working to invest in myself, into my music. And also, if you ever decide to invest, uh, just remember that that those products, those kind of things are coming right back to you guys and getting even better for your enjoyment, for both for me and for you guys. So thank you. This is Soleil Music signing off. We'll see you guys later. Back to work. Soon back to music. See ya.